So I got the tracks off. Um, that was a job. But I'm gonna take this um, this belly pan out. But there are, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna have to take out. Already took that one out, so. They all look to be the same size. There's more holding them in, let's see. More? No, it may just be stubborn, let's see. No, there we go. So, dirt got all caked up everywhere. But anyway, there's the bottom of the video. Um, the valve block, um, I see a little oil. It's not too bad. Uh, it's more on that side up towards the top. So I'm going to probably flip this over and put some hydraulic fluid in it and see if where it's leaking at. I remember, if I remember correct, um, let me take you over to the slide. It was a, um, right there, I had to plug it because something happened. It was uh, leaking there. If I remember correct, so I plugged it. Um, it went to one of the lines back here. Um, one of them, I'm not sure which one. So what I'm gonna do before I put the oil in it to see where the leak's actually coming from, I'm gonna try to get this, um, get it cleaned up a little bit, get the, all the mud off the tracks and um, the sprocket. I noticed the O-ring, I guess that's behind the sprocket it's kind of pinched. It's coming out a little bit, but I might um, try to fix that later on. But um, right now, I'm just going to work on cleaning it up. And uh, I don't think I'm going to take it all the way down like I was thinking about because a lot of these, a lot of the um, the hardware, it's stripped out when they put it together. Um, and some of it don't want to come out and uh, stuff like that. But uh, I got this side piece off here. It was a it was a um my Allen under here that you had to slide out from right here and it came out like that. But um I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up a little bit and put some oil in it and see where it's see where it's coming from. Okay, so it's kind of hard to get up in here. So what I done, I took the Allen and the pin out. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And the pin just pulls out. And then I'm going to take this. Let me see. Yeah, I can pull this one off and take the, the whole ripper end off. If I can get to it. Let's see.
See that one? That one's tripped, so I'm just gonna lay it down like that. And then I can get up in here and clean. Not have to worry about it. All right, I got the tracks good enough and the undercarriage. I'm probably going to, when I get it back together, this part anyway, I'm gonna wash it off. Um, maybe wash back here off. Um, but right now I'm gonna put some oil in it because everything else is pretty clean. I took, the, I took the belly pan out of it. And I'm to the block now, the, um, the valve body. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some oil in it and see if I can tell where it's leaking from. It looks like it's leaking from this side because all the dirt that was over here was just saturated in oil. So I don't know. There's nothing really on this side um, that I see that would be causing it um, to leak or anything. But anyway, we're gonna figure it out and put some oil in it and go from there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and see if I can tell where the leak's coming from. I may have to, um, I might have to hook a battery up to it. Let's see if I'm just trying to get some oil in my uh, syringe. Let's all right, so I got a smaller syringe. I'm gonna fill it up. I can't remember how much it's supposed to hold. I'm just gonna fill it up till it tops off. Might be full. I think it's going to be full right now. I don't see any leaks right now. I'm probably going to cut the pump on. And, um, let me go get a battery and I'm going to cut the pump on.